We are going to discuss how to subtract and add integers. When you're adding or subtracting integers, we just have to follow two steps. Number one is check the signs. So when you say check the signs, for example, we have a number three here. The sign on its left side is the sign of the number. So if it helps, you can circle the number and the sign. You can do the same thing here, circle the number and the sign on its left side. Now, there are some cases where you will see two signs. There is a plus minus, minus minus, or plus minus, or I can just change it into minus and plus. So when you see something like that, when you see two signs that are after each other, you can just convert them. If you see minus minus, it will just become plus. So this one could just be written as 3 plus 8. This one could just be written as negative 3 minus 8. This could be written as 8 minus 3. Always simplify the signs because it's going to be hard if you have two signs. It might confuse you. Next, check the sign and the number. Check if they have the same sign or different signs. Now, for example here, what do we have in here? We have two numbers with different signs. So we are going to follow these steps on this side. Number one, subtract. When you say subtract, just normally subtract 8 and 3. Ignore the signs for now. So what is 8 minus 3? 8 minus 3 is... 5. Just subtract normally. Next, copy the sign of the bigger number. Now, which one is bigger? The 8 or 3? Since 8 is bigger, 5 is positive. We can write positive, po uh, positive 5 or just 5. No need to write the positive sign. And that is how you do the first question. Second question. Check the signs and the number. So we have negative 3, negative 8. We do have the, uh, two numbers with the same sign, so it will fall on this category. Number one, add. So add 3 and 8. 3 and 8 is just 11. Secondly, copy the sign. Since they are both negative, the answer will also be negative. And this will be our answer for the second part. Next, 3 minus minus 8, or 3 minus the negative 8, we can just simplify it into one big plus. Therefore, we just have 3 and 8. So 3 is positive. If you don't see any sign in here, it's just positive. Positive, positive. So they have same signs. So you just add them. 3 plus 8 is 11. And then letter B, copy the sign. So they are both positive. So it's just positive 11 or just 11. Here, 8 and 3. 8. So as you can see, this is just like a normal subtraction, 8 minus 3, which is 5. Now, if you see the rules, the rule is different signs, subtract them, 8 and 3. 8 minus 3 is 5. Now, which one is bigger? Copy the sign of the bigger number. The bigger number is 8, which is positive. Therefore, it's positive 5. Now, let's just have a few, a few more examples. I will just erase it. So for example, we have 10 minus minus 8. Again, since I see two signs that are after each other, we have to simplify them. Minus minus will just turn into a plus. So it is 10 plus 8. And 10 plus 8, same sign. Yes, they are both positive. Positive 10, positive 8. So add them, so 18. And then copy the sign. They are both positive, so positive, but we don't have to write. One last example. Negative 10 minus minus 8. So again, we have two minuses here. We have to simplify it. Make it 10 plus 8. Negative 10 plus 8. Now, I will circle it just to help me better. Since I have two, two numbers that have different signs, number one, subtract. What is 10 minus 8? 10 minus 8 is 2. Next. Copy the sign of the bigger number. 10 is bigger, and the sign of 10 is negative, so we will just write negative 2. And that is how you add or subtract integers.